Hi, I'm already seeing a bunch of excitement about the great Clavette and people are asking questions like, who is Clavette? Is he a real person? What is this book about? And I guess I've done a bad job of talking about that before then. So uh, the book, The Great Clavette, is in fact a biography. He was a real person. He lived from 1868 to 1931. Um, he was born in Wisconsin. He traveled around um, the Northwest uh, with his family. His mom be joined the Seventh-day Adventists and kind of ditched the family. And Clavette joined uh, the Buffalo Bill Wild West Show. Um, from there, he joined P.T. Barnum's Circus. From there, he joined Vaudeville um, and traveled the Orpheum Circuit. And he did all kinds of things. I and mean, the cover of the book tells you uh, he was an artist, a magician, a painter, a vaudevillian, uh, eternalist, and, and so on. These are all things that he did um, in performance on the Orpheum circuit or as an individual. Um, he was probably best known in his vaudeville years as a magician and a shadow graphist, um, essentially shadow puppets, and uh, although much more elaborate than anything that you would think about today. Um, and there was singing and voices and all kinds of stuff he did. The last part of his life, the last 20 years or so, he dedicated to painting and sculpting. And he became a very well-known American painter, so much so that he was one of the few Americans invited to uh, exhibit in Paris. Um, and so this book tells that story. I've collaborated with the Clavet family estate. They shared their archives and I was able to assemble a biography out of it. I wrote it like an autobiography, um, simply because it seemed most in keeping with his style. And then at the very end of the book, there is a essay called Fact from Fiction, which really walks through exactly like, okay, what is 100% verifiably true or as close to that as possible? And how did I make the leaps I made to make some of the other connections in there? Um, but verifiably, like this guy knew Buffalo Bill, he knew B.T. P. T. Barnum, he knew Houdini, he knew Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, he knew Mark Twain, he knew all of these huge figures of that time. And the thing that really captured my attention was, why has he disappeared from the history books? <laughs> so, um, you know, that was the thing that I kept kind of chasing is figuring out who this person was and then how somebody who seemed to be so influential could just kind of disappear. Um, so anyway, the book hopes to tell that story and assemble as much of the information as we possibly could. It would not have been possible without the Clavet family estate um, because they have his journals and diaries and letters and all the posters from when he was performing. Um, they provided scanned copies of some of the books he wrote during his life. And, um, you know, I just kind of absorbed all of that and tried to put forward a story, um, in the voice of Clavette. So I, I hope you like it. Um, pre-orders start May 1st, and, um, that will also be when we begin the raffle. Um, because he was actually a painter, you will actually be able to win a real Clavette, um, original, painting from the 1920s and 30s. The family estate has several of them. They're selling them, but in this case, they have agreed to auction one up um, to one lucky raffle winner. And they've chosen three or four that you'll be able to pick from if you're that person who wins. And um, you'll have a piece of history, a piece of art history, but history in, as well. Um, and then grab the book and you'll have the story to go along with it. So anyway, thanks so much. Have a great day.